Welcome back to our tutorial series for the SFFED Data Explorer. Our previous video, which you can find on our website, gave people a quick start guide to the tool. This time, I'll help you learn how to dive deeper into the data accessible through our tool and have more precise control over what you want to explore. To do this, let's check out some of the ways you can use the Data Explorer to build your own chart. We'll start with the unemployment rate to demonstrate some of these features. The unemployment rate measures the number of people without jobs who are looking for work divided by the total number of people who either have jobs or are looking for them. We can find the statistic on the Labor Market Status tab by selecting the Unemployment Rate option from the Labor Statistic drop-down box. This is the chart you'll see. Now let's talk about what some of the controls on the left side of the page do. First, we have the Date Range box. This option lets you control the dates you are plotting in the chart by typing in the start and end dates. Let's change the start date to January 1st, 2000, and the end date to January 1st, 2020 to see what overall unemployment has looked like for the past few decades before the pandemic. Next, we have the Seasonal Adjustment checkbox. Economists use Seasonal Adjustment to remove regular patterns that repeat every year. For example, without Seasonal Adjustment, the unemployment rate for young workers tends to spike every June as students start looking for summer jobs. Seasonally adjusting the data lets you see the bigger picture without these yearly spikes. Next to that is the Moving Average drop-down box, which lets you average the data points over 3, 6, or 12 previous months. Applying this can smooth out measurement error, which is especially important when you're looking at trends for smaller subgroups of the population. Let's choose a 3-month moving average for now. Next, we'll look at data for different groups. A simple option using the By Demographic Groups view mode allows you to select a broad group, but when you use the Build Your Own Chart mode, you have more options to customize the charts you create. When you select this view mode, a new set of controls pops up. The first option, the Demographic Category drop-down under the Series 1 header, is just like the drop-down in the By Demographic Groups mode. It shows you the demographic categories we have data on for the unemployment rate. Let's break the unemployment rate down by education level. Next, we see the Refine drop-down box. This lets you choose one subgroup from the education category to focus on. If we choose bachelor's degree or more, we now only see the overall population line and a line for individuals with at least a bachelor's degree. To focus only on the data for our chosen group, we can uncheck the box for include overall line to remove it from the chart. After we selected an option for the refined drop-down box, a new row of options appeared. These controls let us break down our chosen group by other demographic categories. Let's see how unemployment rates for people with bachelor's degrees differ between male and female individuals. Already, we see an interesting observation. The unemployment rate rose to similar levels for both groups during the Great Recession. You have the same set of options under the Series 2 header. This lets you add another set of data to the chart, giving you more flexibility to compare trends across different groups. Let's choose the unemployment rate and then see the same demographic breakdown, but now for people with a high school degree or less in education. Now, the solid lines show our original series, while the dotted lines show people with a high school degree or less. There's a lot to think about here. First, we can see that people with lower levels of educational attainment tend to have higher unemployment rates. Second, they seem to have been more impacted by the Great Recession. Another interesting pattern is that while the recession had a similar effect for both male and female individuals with a bachelor's degree or more, this is not the case among individuals with a high school education. Male workers were hit especially hard. This gap was driven by the kinds of jobs most affected by the Great Recession like those in the construction industry. If you look at different recessions, you can check whether different patterns emerge. We've put together a pretty interesting chart. So how do we share our findings with others? Find the chart code displayed below the chart. You can use the copy icon to copy the uniquely generated chart code with all of your chosen settings. Share that code with anyone and they can paste it into the box at the top of the SFHUD Data Explorer app to jump right to the chart you made. Finally, you have the option to download the data series you've selected, so you can use it in your own calculations. Now you've learned how to use the different controls to build your own chart. It's your turn to dig deeper and use the SFFED Data Explorer to create your own data stories.